out again What happened to you? Take me home to the land of wonder and dreams Where I can be to be here today as someone from the Mohican Nation, living on the unceded ancestral territories of the Musqueam, Squamish, and tsleil Nations. We are here to celebrate that we are able to gather again. The rain has stopped, the sun is out, and we made it through the flood! Breaking news. Metro Vancouver has seen the last of the flood drain today. All contamination has been sanitized. The public can now safely leave their homes in mask. Gatherings of all sizes are allowed. I'm having a party and everyone is invited. Woo! <laughs> In each of us exists a coast called the mind. I want resilience. Pushing on. I wish I told him. Courage. This is my coast. There is no one else here. I want to say Keep an open mind. You don't always have to be okay. Can't cry. Need time to find who I am. Resilience resides in the one thing that protects me. Reporting live from downtown Vancouver, everyone must stay inside their home. The rain continues and the water is rising at a steady pace. You look way better than I do. No, you look better. <laughs> <laughs> Babe, let's get Corona. They don't sell beer here. Besides, you're not 19 yet. Let's get out of here. I heard that rain caused floods in the valley, and I want to stock up on good food, and you should too, just in case. In case of what? You aren't making any sense. <laughs> Hi, Pepper! Hi, Kelly. Where's Alexander? He's at the studio, working on a new hip-hop dance routine. That's so cool. He is such an inspiration. Totally. Is Elijah here? No, I haven't seen him. Go ahead. The store is not full capacity. Hey, Eli. Hey, it's been a while. Yeah, I guess it has. How are you? I'd like to say I've been better, but I don't know if that's true. 
I understand. Is Callie here? Hey, you guys. Hey, Elijah. The snacks are still on sale. Hey, Blake. Hey, Ollie. So, that organization I told you about is called Community. They're a queer, trans, and two-spirit resource center. Cool, I haven't heard of them before. They have a youth drop-in support program. Hey, what are you guys talking about? Um, have you started that World War II essay yet? I hey, uh, Callie, Elijah. The rain is coming down hard. Attention, this is not a drill. It's an emergency situation. A major flood is on its way to Vancouver. Everyone needs to get to shelter. Okay, now everyone, please line up in an orderly fashion and we will have you out of here as soon as possible. <laughs> Seriously, I'm going home to watch Netflix. Yeah, nothing much is gonna change for me. The water is entering the store! Ah! Mercury, help me with mopping. This is stupid, a flood? It's just some water. Yeah, flood? What flood? I don't see any flood. Can we just pay you later? I want to get out of here. I'm going as fast as I can. Sorry, we've been understaffed lately and our manager is sick at home. Finally! <sighs> Babe, take my jacket and walk home with Callie. I'm going to hang out with Alex. His new hip-hop routine is rad. Perfect! I want to talk to Ollie about something anyways. Okay, Blake. Tell Alex I say hi. Blake, be careful. Why? Alex already introduced me to trouble. Very funny, Blake. Get lost. It's no joke, Blake, the flood. Okay, later. Look, Pepper has everything under control. It, it always rains here. It'll be okay. I don't think they'd be calling this an emergency situation if it wasn't serious, Callie. We should be careful. Of course, I'll be careful. We'll be fine. Right, well, stay safe. It's raining pretty hard. Do you have an umbrella? No. Mercury, show them those new ponchos that just came in. They're pretty stylish, if I do say so myself. Right. I'll take one. Reporting live from downtown Vancouver, the BC Health Officer has announced for all British Columbians to stay indoors except for essential services. Heavy rains continue and the water is rising. I never wake up early. I'm never up before 6.30 I lie in my bed And I think about what was said I always look in the mirror right away And I think to myself that it's just another day I go through my clothes and I get dressed And I always try to hope for the best Pepper, 
You're my hero, Pepper. Be safe out there, Pepper. Hey, Callie. Hi, Elijah. Emily, come here, please. My name is Elijah, Grandma. Breaking news from downtown Vancouver. The water continues to rise at a steady pace. Granville Island is now completely submerged. Whoa, you gotta be kidding. In each of us exists a coast called the mind. We're all beached here, hoping to come across another, but we never do. Mirror, mirror, oh, what do I see? I don't like the sinking weight. I can't bring myself to go to work and pretend that everything is okay. It's okay, I understand. You're doing important work, Pepper. Making sure people get fed? I wish I could help. It's just, I can't even help myself, so. Mercury, it's all right. I gotta go. This is my coast. There's no one else here. It's just me. Happiness, the warm sand beneath my feet wetted by a dark ocean with waves as loud as thunder, silencing the wind of reason. Breaking news, the flood water is contaminated. Do not come into contact with the water, and do not drink the tap water. A little water won't kill you, dude. Stop crying that up. What would your parents think of you? Keep it down. I'm never going to be like that. Get a grip, bro. It's just a stupid flood. Great. I'm stuck here. Emily! My name is Elijah. What is resilience? Pushing on even when it feels hopeless. <sighs> the steadfastness of the soldiers inspired. Wait, is that even a word? <sighs> Unwavering standing firm. OK, good. The noble soldiers. That's it. I got my Scrabble word. It's noble. Hmm. Are you okay? I'm okay. <laughs> okay, good. I've been trying to write my history essays for weeks, but it's so boring. Have you started? What, me doing homework when we're supposed to? Never. <laughs> yeah, I can do everything else though. I've organized my room, cooked the food I've been meaning to try, everything but the essay. Mm, have you written a novel and worked out and painted your whole room too? <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> I hope we still get to have our graduation party. Same. It'll be so depressing if we can't. Totally. When I asked you if you were okay, I meant with Blake. We're fine. I just... I have to go. It's Blake. Hi. Why didn't you pick up right away? I was taking a nap. Is there something important you have to tell me? This is the fourth time you're calling. Uh, yeah. 
Never mind, I gotta go. Resilience resides in the one thing that protects me. It is my breakwater. Resilience. Learn to love yourself, even when you hate yourself. <sighs> the steadfastness of the sol noble soldiers. Ugh. Why won't you answer me? Hello? This is your cell phone. <sighs> Hi, Alexander. I've been trying to write the same history essay sentence for weeks. You've been living at the studio? <sighs> okay, well, just be really careful. The water is really deep and we're not supposed to come into contact with it. Hang on, it's Ollie. Okay, I'll tell her you say hi. Callie, I don't know if everything's okay. What do you mean? With Blake. <sighs> yeah, I don't know what to tell you. I'm trying to remember what life was like before Blake. I found that photo you took of me at my last dance competition. I miss those days. Dancing made me so happy. I just, I want to feel that rush again. Yeah. Remember when we first met in grade three? Even back then, you loved to dance. I'm here for you. I've been aching inside, and I've forgotten what it's like to feel anything else. I've been asking myself what's wrong, but I still haven't found the answer. I want someone to hear me. I want to get out. The words that have been bottled up inside for so long, I've forgotten what silence sounds like. I want to be able to look at my reflection and say, I love you. To say, this is who I am. This is not who I am. Strive for a balanced life. What am I missing? Emotional health. I wonder if that community organization Callie was telling me about is still operating during the flood. Hey Mercury, I haven't heard from you in a while. How are things? Mirror, mirror, on the wall. Who is the fairest of them all? Not me. I have been cast out and left alone on the water's edge. Mirror, mirror, on the floor. Who is the fairest and honest for sure? Not me. I have lost my way on this road of life, lost my thoughts to the ocean. Mirror, mirror, on the ceiling. Who is the fairest of all these feelings? Not me. I have done nothing but weep for something that I cannot reach, trudge through the water that is horribly deep. Mirror, mirror, on the wall. Who is the fairest of them all? Don't ask me, for I am not fair. Pepper, are you looking in the water? Better not rely on the reflection. It's contaminated. Elijah, hey, what do you mean? The water. It's like a mirror. Is that why it's unhealthy? Emily! This is never going to stop. I'm drowning. Elijah, if you want to live a true life, you have to be you. I know she's your grandmother, and I know how much you respect her. She's been there since your mom left. I know you just want her to see you for who you are. I know she doesn't understand what I'm going through or has ever seen anyone go through this before. I just want her to accept me for who I am. Well, I accept you. 
and I'm incredibly proud of you. Thanks. I really appreciate that. I know it's especially hard right now, isolating during the flood, especially with a family member who doesn't support what you're going through. Yeah, there's nowhere to go. But listen to this. Callie told me about the support group for trans people, and I'm going to one of their Zoom drop-ins next week. Resilience resides in the one thing that protects me from the growling waves. It is my breakwater. It is calm here, where the ocean's claws can rise but can't reach me, trying to break through an exterior they can't get to. Yet still, it is empty here. On this breakwater of gray stone, I can't touch the warm sand. I can't feel the wind on my skin. I can't feel anything. I call out for anyone who might listen. But when they reply, asking me, what's wrong? Asking me, what happened? Asking me, why do you feel this way? I have no words left to say. Hey, Mercury, what's up? Is anything ever up? Sometimes. Did you hear that the flood is supposed to end soon? We've been saying that since it started. I stopped believing it a long time ago. I really don't know how you can be so optimistic. I'm really not. It's hard for me too, you know. Anyway, I was just calling to check in. How are you? How do you think I am? I'm not good. I feel awful all the time. What's wrong? I don't know. You ask me this every day, and I never know. I'm sorry. I don't know what you want me to say. It's just, I want you to ask me what's wrong, but I don't want you to expect an answer because I don't have one. It's not because of the flood, because I felt this way for a while. Maybe it's worse now. I exist. In this numbness, I call home, watching the sun rise as I sleep and set as I wake, wondering what's missing. There's a part of me that feels gone. Mercury, it's okay. I'm still here. I don't want to die. But I don't want to go on living as I am. What do you mean? I just feel stuck. And I don't know where to go from here. I understand. Maybe try to make some changes. You say to me, fix it, change it, be better, be different. I wish I could. I know you think it's hard for others to understand, but it's not. You're not the only one who feels that way. I also... <sighs> okay, this is going to be it. The steadfastness of the noble soldiers inspired <sighs> Hello? Yes, this is Callie. There was a complication with the water he drank.
What's up, Callie? Blake. Did you hear the news? What? What news? Alexander. He died. You want to know why I'm sad? So do I. so sad what happened to Alexander. I know, yeah. I can't believe he's gone. His dad said there will be a celebration of life online. That's good. Hey, lean on me if you need to cry or scream or even if you want to laugh. <laughs> oh, hey, I could take you out in my new dinghy or we could take the canoe. Thanks, Ollie. I, I need to do something active. That, that'll help me. Since not being able to go to the gym, my workouts in here have been lacking. I'm doing these online dance classes. They're really fun. It's Zumba. You should try with me sometime. Sounds like fun. How are you? Blake said our relationship didn't feel right to continue the way it was. It'll take time, Molly. Time heals. Yeah. I need to figure myself out. I need to figure myself out. Yeah, that's good. Honestly, the breakup was overdue ever since he kissed me at that pre-flood party. What? How are you dealing with the Blake situation? I'm managing. I'm doing these Zoom dance classes that are really helping. Blake, I heard what happened through Ollie. She was a huge waste of time. Hold on. That is way out of line. You aren't all sunshine and rainbows either. Look, you barely know anything about my life, so screw off. Stop losing yourself, Blake. I know that Alexander's death triggered this, and, and I know you had feelings for him. I saw the way you looked at him. I don't. Look, I know that your parents raised you a certain way to be a man, in their definition. It's called toxic masculinity. I know that's not who you are, Blake. And I know you've struggled to open up because of it. OK. Thank you. Callie, I wish I told him I loved him. I know, Blake. I know.
There was no warning. One moment you were breathing, your heart still beating, and then you left us all grieving. Mercury, please talk to me. I know you're still there. Mercury? I understand. I know you think I don't, but I do. It's not easy for me. It's not? No, it's not. I'm struggling too. I try to help others to distract from how I really feel, but that's not working anymore. I'm sorry. All I do is talk about myself. It's okay. I gotta go. Let's talk again soon. I want to be able to look in my reflection and say, I love you, not be alone in the setting sun. I hope instead of setting, the sun will rise. Well, do you want to talk to me now? I don't know how to talk about it or where to start. Oh, I never knew. I'm sorry. I hate the way I feel, the way I look. I feel so useless. I can't go to work. I can't help people get their food. Pepper, I you've done so much already. Can't you see that? No, you have. All the years I've known you. It's time to focus on yourself. I guess I'll try to finish my song, Change Like the Seasons. Writing songs helps me get out of my head. Remember when we'd write those songs together and make those videos? Yeah. That was fun. We should do that again sometime. <laughs> Breakwater is just that, a break. It is not permanence, but a stopover. And as soon as my foot graces the sand, I will start to hear the music again. I am still afraid of the ocean, and I will be until I learn how to swim, until I'm too strong to be pulled away from the coast I call home. This is my coast. There is no one else here. But maybe, someday, when I find the courage to leave the breakwater, you can visit. This reflection is not who I am. These thoughts are not who I am. Breaking news. The water is now drinkable from all taps in Vancouver. <laughs> it's about time. Pepper. Hi, Elijah. We can drink from our taps again. That's good. With many indigenous communities without clean drinking water, we must remember them and urge our government to do better. How are things? I was supposed to go to work today, but I chose to stay in. I don't know how you do it. I see you tread knee deep through the water every day just to provide us with the food and water we need. Yeah. 
thing is, I don't know how to give myself what I need. You always seem like you had it all together. Honestly, I'm really struggling. I was taught to use the medicine wheel as a guide to live my life in a healthy, balanced way, physically, emotionally, mentally, and spiritually. Every nation represents something different on the medicine wheel with colors, animals, directions. I'm focusing on my east, my emotional health. See, I've been painting the medicine wheel. That's really amazing, Elijah. I like it. Do you have a healthy balance in your life, Pepper? No, I don't. I didn't know you were indigenous like I am. That's cool. Yeah, I am. Even though I look like I have more white settler heritage in me, that's been a struggle. People have gotten upset with me for speaking on behalf of my people because I don't look indigenous. Wow. Yeah, I've had a similar struggle. Try using the medicine wheel. See if that makes a difference. Thanks for your advice, Elijah. <laughs> hey, do you guys want to finish our Scrabble game? Yes. yes. OK, good. I've been thinking of this one for days. Replenished. Nice one, Ollie. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, look how cool our board looks now. That's so cool. <laughs> well, I will always wish that I was better than this. Yes, I will always wish that I was better than this. I hope and pray and wonder if I'll ever be like the summer, bright like the sun. But I'm always such a bummer. Oh, I think that I am better than this. Yes, I think that I am better than this. I hope someday. I won't need your opinion because one day I'll change like the seasons. Why not? I can't believe I've had this since I was 10. I have barely played it. Mercury, it's you. I haven't seen you in such a long time. Being in a dark place. It's okay to be in the dark. It, it's a sign that you've taken notice of your pain. And when you do that, you give it the compassion it needs for you to learn from it, grow, and move on. I could definitely use some compassion. I think I need to learn how to give compassion, both to myself and others. I believe in you, Mercury. I know you're an empathetic person, and no one blames you for having trouble showing that. Right. Thanks, Eli. I think I'm ready to start. So, I guess, how are you? Well, I'm starting to accept who I am, to be my authentic self, who I truly am, and not who others see me as. It hasn't been easy. Of course not. Who you are inside is never lost, even if you change your clothes and your name. That's something that can take people time to understand. Remember, you've had your whole life to think about this, so give others a minute. It's hard sometimes to be patient, to constantly ask someone to use your right name when they refuse to. I know how hard it is. I changed my name, my pronouns. Now, nobody even remembers my dead name, much less calls me by it. And hey, if I can convince everyone to call me Mercury, you can get them to call you Elijah. It just takes time. Thanks, Mercury. The news is on. Metro Vancouver is draining the flood and is close to creating proper water sanitation. Soon, the public can safely leave their homes in masks. Woo! Hi, Pepper. Hey. 
I miss Alexander too, Kelly. I know. We were all inseparable. At least we have each other to keep us strong. I love you. I'm having a party. Once we're able to gather, you're all invited. Woo! Hey, Mercury, I'm glad you answered the phone. I'm having a party. You should come and hang out with everyone. I'm not sure. It might be good for you, like it'll be good for me. I'll think about it. Hey, thanks for what you said earlier. You're welcome. Sometimes the thoughts are so messy in my head, but when I take the time to write them out, it becomes clear. Then all you need is someone you trust who will listen. Exactly. Wanna hear a song I wrote? Yes. Tell me, who is this reflection that I see? I don't know it, and it doesn't know me. Tell me, what is this concoction that I feel? I can't touch it. on the struggles we faced during these last several months. And let's take pause to honor those who have passed on, like our dear friend, Alexander. All I've been doing lately is schoolwork, exercising, and thinking about you. I do schoolwork because it's a good distraction. I work out because you always said the best way to keep a healthy mind was to keep a healthy body. You would be proud. You always knew how to make everyone feel special. I'm going to miss you so much. You always made living look so easy, marching to the beat of your own drum. But I know it was hard for you too. You really inspired me to try to change the way I see myself. Thank you, Alexander, for everything and for always trying to make us laugh. I know it's how you'd want to be remembered. Can't argue with that. Alex, the last thing I ever said to you is that I hated you. And it's the worst lie I ever told. You kissed me on the cheek and I knew it, it was a joke because Ollie and I were together. But I was so mad at you because I liked it. I can't change what I said to you, but if you can hear me, Alex, I don't hate you. I love you. Life is fleeting. There are moments I find myself seeking your joyous greeting. But I am free. Your soul is soaring. And I am healing. Everyone, let's celebrate. It's something Alexander would have wanted. The skies are clear. I'm glad you're here. 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 
never got the chance to tell Alexander how you really felt. Thanks, Ollie. I'm sorry I was such a jerk. Honestly, since our breakup, I've become a much better version of myself. So I really do thank you for breaking my heart, <laughs> even if it did suck. <laughs> I love you, Blake. Thanks, Elijah. Thanks for sharing the medicine wheel. And Mercury, you allowed me to open up about my feelings without judgment. I'm on a better path now. I'm happy for you, Pepper. You don't need to thank me for anything. Yeah, same. Well, I am, so take it. <laughs> Both of you mean so much to me. I hope we can spend more time together. Count on it. I'm glad you came to the party, Mercury. It's important to Pepper, and it's good to get out. Definitely. Hey, Elijah, can we talk? Yeah, what's up? Uh, I'm trying to be more myself now. I was thinking you would be a good person to talk to. I didn't know who I was for a long time. It's all good. I'm happy for you, bro. Thanks, bro. Uh, Callie told me you're going to a Zoom queer group. Yeah, next Wednesday. It's called Gap. Community runs it. We can join together. Sounds great. I'm glad you're here. It means a lot to me. I know it does. And you mean a lot to me. So, of course I came. I wasn't talking about you being at the party. Oh, right. Well, me too. And you know what? I think I have an answer now. Really? That's great. Do you want to share it? Sure. I guess I realized I never really held on to anything. I had only a loose grasp on myself, my friendships, and life around me. I want to hold on to the things that matter, like you and Elijah. I want to be more compassionate to you guys and to myself. I want to be able to hold on, hold on for dear life. If I know you at all, I know you will. You're the strongest person I know. My friend Solace made special medallions to honor the care and compassion you brought into your lives. Callie? Elijah? Blake? Alexander? Ollie? Mercury? Pepper. Moving back and forth, do you remember how it all started? Where it all
It's been a long time coming home, looking out windows, searching for the words and coming up short. Fingertips touching glass, drawing shapes in condensation. It's running wild Somewhere between skin and sin I've been writing songs About the sadness in my head Trying to turn it into something Beautiful, beautiful instead I'm reaching out for a peace of mind Something to hold on to Reaching out for a piece of my mind A touch of something more A touch of something It's moments like these After time spent apart, you see The sound of your voice and the way we used to talk about the little things 